what is going on guys quality xa here today and today i am bringing you guys a brand new zer video now before we start this video i want you guys to smash that like button let's try and help me out and i'll help you out by bringing you guys the best destiny 2 content let's see if we can smash 20 likes so smash that like button now and let's get right into this Zer video. So let's see what he has got this week. So standard, you guys have got the Fated Engram. Gives you an exotic you currently do not have. Now for the exotic gear, starting off with the best fusion rifle in the game. And possibly one of the best exotic heavies in the game. That being the Merciless. So for this, you get Conserve Momentum. Non-lethal hits with projectiles make this weapon charge faster until its weld up gets a kill. You've also got Chamber Compensator, Extended Mag, Impetus, and then last but not least, Fitted Stock. Pretty damn awesome indeed. This looks phenomenal as well. And like I said, it's one of the best exotic uh, heavies in the game and one of the best fusion rifles. Really does destroy bosses as well. Now moving on to the Hunter class, we have the Lucky Pants. So for this, you get a legally modded holster. Precision hits load one round into the chamber of stowed hand cannons. And you've also got mobility enhancement mod and plasteel reinforcement mod. Now this is actually a pretty cool perk. Now it's hard to actually get it to work in the sense of you don't notice it until obviously you are using the stowed hand cannon. But when you guys actually use this, it's actually really helpful and very cool indeed. If you guys imagine you've got a hand cannon as your secondary, you get a couple of headshots, then you have a fully loaded hand cannon if you run out of ammo. It's really, really good and can help in some sticky situations, so pretty decent. Now moving on to the ACD feedback fences for the Titan. So for this you have Fury Conductors. Melee kills build up explosive energy within the ACD feedback fence. Being struck by a melee attack unleashes this energy in a devastating explosion. You've also got Plasteel Reinforcement mod and Restorative mod. Now this is extremely good for crowds of enemies. When you guys do get hit when in a crowd of enemies, you guys can expect to kill most of them if and not damage a lot of them this also works extremely well in competitive while playing some of the countdown game modes it just destroys a lot of enemies when they do melee you and it works well with some of the other pieces of gear and perks that you can use as a titan really awesome indeed and then last but not least we have the starfire protocol for the warlock so for this you have fusion harness fusion grenades have an additional charge and regenerate faster Fusion Grenade kills Grant Rift Energy. You've also got Mobility Enhancement mod and Restorative mod. Now this is a pretty decent exotic. In Destiny 1 it was much, much better because the grenades were just OP as hell. Now it's still pretty decent. Fusion Grenades are pretty hefty and do a lot of damage. But I wouldn't recommend getting this unless you do love using the Dawnblade class. If not, I just would not recommend it. It's pretty pointless, obviously, with the exotic perk that you do have. But when you do get them fusion grenade kills, you obviously get your rift energy and you get two of them. So it is pretty decent, but definitely not the best. So what would I recommend this week? Definitely that fusion rifle. If you guys are a titan, the ACD feedback fence is pretty decent. And maybe the lucky pants if you guys are hand cannon users. But yes, guys, that is pretty much the video. If you did enjoy it, a like is much appreciated. Like I said, 20 likes, and that would be much appreciated. Really, really make my day. But as always, peace out, and I hope you enjoyed.